Today we're going to look at something called the balance sheet. Balance sheet lists all the assets, things basically that the company owns, liabilities, uh, money which the uh, business owes, and the capital in the business, i.e. where it has the business finance. Now, the balance sheet should end up showing the following. Assets minus liabilities equals capital. Hence why it's called a balance sheet. One side, where you show the assets and liabilities, should equal the capital in the business. Okay, and that's what we're going to look at. How the balance sheet is set out and some of the fancy terminology which is used throughout and some ratios which are used, uh, like a current ratio, asset test ratio. We'll look at that at the end. So, fixed assets last for more than one year. Examples I put here are premises, machinery, computers and vehicles. Computers are included only if the business has bought the computers. If you're leasing the computers, that's not included as a fixed asset. That's included as an expense and profit and loss kind. And what we do on the, for fixed assets, we show them how much the assets are valued at after depreciation. And I have a, vi a video on depreciation, you can watch that. Current assets last for less than one year, and hopefully the business can turn those into cash relatively quickly. And the examples we have here are things like cash. Um, if you get cash, you should be able to turn this into cash very quickly. Money is also held at the bank, hopefully you can move it about pretty quickly. Debtors or customers owe you money, hopefully they pay you quickly. And stock. Uh, hopefully if uh, you have a convenience store, hopefully they're able to sell that stock pretty quickly. Uh, current liabilities are bills which the company has to pay relatively shortly, say within one year. Uh, and we've got things like creditors, so for example, Carrefour, a big supermarket will buy products from Coca-Cola and hopefully they will pay Coca-Cola in a relatively short period of time. Bank overdrafts, that's basically a relative to a minus at the bank. And sometimes short term loans. Uh, in China, uh, where I work, uh, banks don't really issue overdrafts, they instead issue uh, short term loans. Okay, next we have then net current assets. Net current assets are very, very important. Sometimes it's called working capital. Current assets minus current liabilities uh, measures can you pay your short term debts. So therefore, current assets should be larger than the current uh, liabilities. Okay, long-term liabilities or debts which are payable for more than one year, things like uh, buying loans. Net assets calculation is the net fixed assets plus working capital minus long-term liabilities. Finance the buy part at the end of the uh, balance sheet that shows how the business is funded, and we have two examples here: uh, share capital, money invested by the shareholders. Uh, or the owners and retain profit. And the end part, the very, very end part of the balance sheet is called equity. And the net assets and equity totals should be the same, hence why it's called a balance sheet. Now let's look at a balance sheet. Okay, the balance sheet is labeled or titled balance sheet as of 31st of May 2018. Okay. Then we have the uh, fixed assets um, less accumulated depreciation. So as fixed assets are uh, said are 1,000 minus 200 means that the net fixed assets are 800. Current assets, stocks 300, debtors 200, cash 100, that adds up to 600. The current liabilities 200 plus 200 is 400. That therefore means net current assets are 200. So 600 minus 400 gives you 200. Total assets. If we take 200 plus 800, that gives you 1,000. Then the long-term liabilities are 100. If we take 100 away from 1,000, you get 900. I've highlighted this in red because at this point, this is the top half of the balance sheet. That is kind of now finished. Then we start the second half of the balance sheet, which is the balance buy part. So the uh, two parts here are two. Two things to include, share capital and retain profit. 600 plus 300 equals 900. And you can see that the balance sheet balances because this 900 is the same as this. Okay, now, if you think of this business as simply as you can on say on the first day it started uh, and the business had 600 share capital, that's all. So in the finance five part, we had 600 share capital. All right, uh, that would appear up here initially, for example, is cash in hand or bank as 600, so it would balance. So all the money invested here must appear up here somewhere, and hence why it's called the balance sheet. Now, 
We have two issues we can use about the balance sheet, uh, and we're going to work out can the business pay short term debts, and we can do that by doing the current ratio and the asset cash ratio. So, current ratio is current assets divided by current liabilities, and we should have that as a ratio of one. And this example, the current assets are 600, the current liabilities are 400, therefore the ratio is 1.5 to 1. The business can pay its short term debts. The asset cash ratio, however, takes away the influence of stock. All right? You could have a big entertainment store and they get lots and lots and lots of physical CDs. People don't buy CDs anymore. Okay? So that's why we take that influence away, because the company may have lots and lots of stock, which it will take maybe a long period of time to turn into cash. So here we're just going to be interested in the current assets, basically which are debtors and cash. Okay? So current assets minus stock divided by current liabilities. Again, we showed the answer is a ratio of 1. So 600 minus 400, that's 200. So 200 divided by 400 gives you 0 0.5 to 1. So that means the business can't pay short term debts. So how can we improve this ratio? All right. So the business could hold either more cash. How do you gain more cash? The business could sell all fixed assets, which maybe they're not using. All right. Instead of paying lots and lots of dividends to shareholders, maybe the business could keep that money as cash inside the business. Maybe take out more long-term loans, because it would appear in the, the current assets as more cash initially. Uh, owners put more money into the business. Uh, obviously at the bottom, we have the uh, share capital invested by the owners, I think 600. That could increase to 700, and that money initially would appear as cash. And then obviously the business could pay off some of the short-term debts. Okay? Balance sheet, relatively straightforward. You have to know how to let it in the final exams. So take some time to learn that.